We're going to elect a new governor in Louisiana this year. And the first weeks of 2023 have been, well, give us surprises. But Jeremy Alford, you've penned that it's been messy. It has. You're the editor publisher of La Politics. Uh, you write for the New York Times. You've written books. You are a political guru in the state. And so is it fun right now to see what's happening? Oh, yeah. I mean, welcome to the 2023 election cycle. Yeah. I mean, and <laughs> who's in? Who's out? What do you forecast? Yeah, you know, nothing went as planned this week. No one announced on the days that they were supposed to. It, it was incredibly messy for someone who writes about Louisiana politics. Yes. It couldn't have gone better. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. But, but, you know, let's talk about who's in. I think that's easier to focus on than, than, than sure. who's saying they're not going to run. Uh, on the conservative side, things are really coming into sharper focus. you got Attorney General Jeff Landry and you have Attorney Hunter Lundy of Lake Charles. Those are two guys who have been in the field for months now, and they are joined this week by Treasurer John Schroeder. Okay, uh, yes. He is the latest to announce. Uh, so his statewide office is going to be open and the attorney general's office is going to going to be open because they'll be running for governor. But we've got it. We've got a few more announcements on the way. Over the next week, you're going to hear an announcement from Senator Sharon Hewitt. Uh, she's from the Slidell area. Right, she used right. to be an oil and gas executive. And you're going to hear an announcement from Representative uh, Richard Nelson, who is a freshman state representative from the Mandeville area. He has an intelligence background with the federal government. Really oh. interesting guy. So. Okay. The, the, the conservative side has really come into focus. And a couple of names you haven't mentioned yet. Uh, John Kennedy, of course, said he will not, not run. run. That's right. And Billy Nungesser, who we thought would run if Kennedy didn't, is also not going to. He wants to uh, run to be lieutenant governor again. That's right. And and of those two, I think we're going to hear from John Kennedy once again at some point. Because I think all eyes and ears will turn to him and, and ask, who are you supporting? So, so at some point, he's going to get the spotlight back. Okay, got it. Uh, on the Democratic side. Yeah, there, there's a lot of intrigue, a lot of mystery over there. There's a lot of noise this week because there's a new poll in the field that is testing the name of Democratic Party chairwoman Katie Bernhard. Uh, she's going to have an announcement here soon. She is seriously looking at the race. Really? Uh, that would be a, an interesting addition. There's also Transportation Secretary Sean Wilson, who yes. works for the governor. Right. He has polled himself in this race. He likes what he sees, uh, but he's not made a final decision. A couple wild cards, both district attorneys. The district attorney from St. Charles, Joel Chasson, he was in the same poll as Katie Bernhard. But I'm being told if she runs, he may be supporting her. Okay. The other, who is much more serious, who I've spoken to many times this year about yes. this, is Hiller Moore. Yeah, uh, he, 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 the district attorney of East Baton Rouge Parish, he is a white Democrat. He very much fits that archetype of a John Bell Edwards, a conservative Democrat. And he is looking at this race really seriously. You know, at one time he was looking at attorney general, but now it looks like it, it may be the governor's race. What surprises you the most about what has transpired? You know, I, I think Billy Nungesser's exit was a was a surprise. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I'll be surprised to see what the rest of the, the field looks like, because right now Jeff Landry is incredibly organized, maybe more organized than any gubernatorial candidate I've ever covered. But does that mean that he would be the shoe in favorite? No, I, I don't use terms like that for governor's yeah. races anymore. <laughs> I, I think we learned eight years ago that the fundamentals don't always apply to the governor's race, that it's an intimate race, and that people treat this differently than they would something like the U.S. Senate or even mayor. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to come back because we're going to talk about this a lot more. And we'll see what happens in the coming week or weeks, right, with That's some of right. these other announcements. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right, Jeremy, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Always.